Is it not playing again? It's not playing again. I, I need to put this. It's an MPEG 2. I need to put it. There we go. Maybe Doug's hot pocket just broke it. Maybe it did. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff for the show, brings it on back in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And a uh, Tara's got her name on it. Isn't that cool? Get your name on there and there's Catherine. I'm now. You have it doesn't, however, say with Tara and her menagerie of hippos, but, you know, we'll work on that. Getting real demanding and shit up in here. Well, I'm like a star now, so yeah. <laughs> hey, you totally knew Doug from like before, right? You you, you didn't just like no miss me. People like I totally did not. Uh, we met, Doug and I met about five minutes before we went on the air. People on Twitter didn't believe me. They were like, no, seriously, you guys met before, right? And I'm like, we really didn't know. Okay, so um, this might seem like you've done that story before. No, no, it's it's a new fucking story. It's loading really slow. You're like, you did that story last year. No. Oh no. no, really again? Again! A fucking again! This is from from the Denver Post. Blowtorch being used to melt ice sets Broomfield home ablaze. Broomfield homeowner learned the hard way. A blowtorch isn't a safe way to melt ice from a walkway. The torch set the exterior of the home ablaze. Only, res only resident was able to escape. The fire was damaged. The fire that damaged the outside of the home, but firefighters stopped it from spreading inside. People. It's a blowtorch! Yeah! No, that's not... No. I, you that's would, not safe. Here, here's the thing. Were it summer, and you took a blowtorch near your house, any for any reason, it might click in your head that, hey... That's, that's a bad a idea. a lot of fire. But for some reason, in the winter... Well, people think that I, I guess, I guess, I mean, I don't know what the mentality is here. I would never take a blowtorch to my home, but I'm guessing that the mentality is that the layer of ice that they're trying to melt should protect the, like, the, the, they'll, they'll have to burn through the ice before they get to house, and so it'll be okay somehow. But it won't! Your house will burn the fuck down. That's not how ice works. And You're... the water that the ice turns into is not going to put that shit out. Uh, it's okay, because once it sets on fire, the ice will put out the the fire when it melts. Any second now. No. Any second now. But well, maybe if you shoot at the fire with your gun. <laughs> That'll help. I wish that had been a real story. I, I, I was know, actually I was so, sad that was fake. I was actually really sad to find out that was a hoax, too. Just people. Fire plus wood equals more fire. It's it's not going to melt the ice. Well, yes, it will melt well, the it ice. it will melt the ice. And every and fucking also, thing else. You won't have a house to get ice off of anymore because no. it will burn your house the fuck down. Just... Which I guess then means you won't have to deal with that problem again, because you'll be living in a cardboard box. You know what? If you're really desperate, get a blow... I mean, don't get a blowtorch. Get a blow dryer. It's just hot air. Don't use fire. I just... It's its pissing me off that we have the same story again. This wouldn't we happen... We probably one every year, every winter, for as long as we do this bit. Like, if you and I are still doing this when we're 80... You and I are going to be like, oh my god! I can't believe they did it again! Where's my teeth? Like, <laughs> you set another fucking house on fire. God damn it. Now, if more people would just watch my show, only yeah. my show can prevent fire. Only Nash can prevent blowtorch fires? Yes! That's... I don't remember Smokey the Bear ever saying that. He's a cock. Only Nash can prevent blowtorch fires. So, um... No. With these stories, it's it's nice for once to see someone cutting to the fucking chase. Um this this naked man asks, quote, Taser me, bro. 
gets his wish. This one comes That's a from... That's specific fetish. This is Florida. Uh, Actually, it's not. No, it's, it's Broward Sun Sentinel. Where is it from? Orlando Sentinel. Volusia County. That's Florida. Florida, everybody take a shot. There you go. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's take a shot when the story isn't from Florida. Uh, yeah. So nobody drink. And if you did drink, spit. <laughs> so, two Pearson men accused of stealing boat. I love how that's that's the... they, they What the fuck does that have to do with the headline? I know! Um, two men, one of them naked, were arrested Friday accused of stealing a boat from a covered dock. Uh, Daryl Horn, 28, Matthew Schreider, 27... Uh, face charges of armed burglary, grand theft, and resisting an officer. I feel compelled to ask if the naked one had a covered dock. <laughs> at one point, after being asked... At one point, after asking to be shot with a deputy's taser stun gun, Horn was! I love this story. Um... The two told deputies their truck ran out of gasoline about 4 p.m. They were on their way to see their friend who lived on the other side of Lake Botts. They then decided to take a boat from the dock. There were no paddles Obviously. in the boat. There were no paddles, so the man found a piece of wood to use. A neighbor of the boat owner called the victim to report the theft. He said, Again, was it? No, I'm not going to know. What? Naked guy, piece of wood. Come on! <laughs> They, uh, when deputies arrived, they ordered the men to return to shore. Horn started to curse at the deputies and take off his clothes. He then dove in yeah, and that's what you do. he then dove in and swam in the opposite direction, cursing and making hand gestures. Uh, Horn still naked. Oh, that makes sense though. What he wanted to swim away, but he didn't want to get his clothes wet. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Did he like, think he was going to come back he took for off the his clothes? The cops are. Did he think he was gonna come back for them? Um, I don't know. A deputy. The reason I'm pretty sure. A deputy armed with a taser stun gun opened the door, at uh, which uh, Horn told him, "Taser me, taser me, bro." Did he think he was just gonna not do it? Maybe he just didn't want to have to tell people that he gave up without being tasered. I mean, that, that, what you're doing right there, you're kind of... If they taser you and you're not resisting, that could be trouble for them. Because tasers are intended to be used in the place of deadly force. Yeah, like, that's not something you should be able to request as a service. I know! It's not like, you know what, um, I wish to be handcuffed, uh, I want the patrol cop to myself, and- Are we sure these were real cops and not on their way to a bachelorette party? <laughs> are we really sure about that? Just, it, it, don't dare them to do exactly. this shit. Who are they looking to protect and serve? Just, just don't dare them. Do not dare them to do the shit. Because they're going to be like, okay. When they get into court, they're going to be like, your honor, he asked me to. Yeah, but that's not a good defense, though. <laughs> that, you're not going to get away with that. Like, well, he wanted me to tase him. Well, there are places he could pay for that shit. <laughs> that's, not, that's not your job as a police officer. But That's he, not what you do. But he said to do it. He asked me to. No. <laughs> what the? And the other thing. Like, everybody's wrong in this story. Everybody's wrong. Right. There's no good guy here. Because you have the idiot stealing a boat. You have the guy thinking he can swim away and then pull a fugitive running through the woods <laughs> naked. And then you have the fucking cop who's like, oh, oh, you want to be tased? All right. Ooh, just, just do this thing. That. No. that that run into the woods ta naked, that already hurts me. Because all I can think is flat, 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 flat. Ow! There's things you can run into in the woods that you don't want to be flapping around. That's, ow. Okay, well, I wasn't really concerned about That's, that. That'd be some painful shit, man. You don't want to do that. How big... How endowed do you think this guy was? Even a little bit. Like, you it's not going to flap out of your control into a tree three feet away from you. No, but you want to hit a spider web with that? Ugh. All I'm thinking is brown recluse on the dick. Owie. 
now. Don't run through the woods naked. It's not good for anybody. You have... Not good for the spiders. Not good for you. They're, they just haven't even invented the kind of therapy that you need yet, have they? <laughs> oh, well, we are. Right. I wouldn't run around the woods naked because a brown recluse might bite my... Wow. All right. It's a plausible... It is a plausible fear. Except brown recluses pointedly avoid people and open areas, so it's not actually no. that plausible. Because they wouldn't build their web somewhere you could run into it. Don't talk to me about the mentality of spiders. I know things. Okay, so the next two stories are an odd variation on a theme, which is weird. Um, this this first one uh, is kind of sweet in a way, I think. Um, from the Salt Lake Tribune. West Valley man destroys walls trying to rescue, quote, trapped girlfriend. A West Valley city man, yeah, West Valley city man may have some explaining to do after police said he destroyed the walls of his home, convinced that his girlfriend was trapped behind one. Um... Police said the man uh, was certainly heard his girlfriend calling for help from behind a wall. In an attempt to rescue her, police said he destroyed the inside of the house, trying to figure out where she was trapped. Police said the girlfriend was vacationing in Texas at the time. The man said he, they said the man had apparently overdosed on some substance when he called authorities for help in finding her. Even better... The home the man destroyed actually belonged to his father, who was out of town at the time of the incident. Um. Well, I mean, at least he tried to save her. I know, it's, it's kind of sweet. Like, a little. At least he didn't hallucinate his girlfriend screaming and just sit there. You know, honestly, if, if, if my significant other said... I smashed all the walls in the house because I thought you were trapped. You the, like first thing, the first thing I would think would be, wow, we got to get you some help. But the second thing, <laughs> the second thing would be, well, that, that's kind of nice. It's a keeper, though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you'll wreck the you're fucking not, house. You're not getting Edgar Allan Poe with that guy around. <laughs> well, you, you, you were thinking of me, at least. I, you know, I like, I appreciate that. Good looking out. Maybe <laughs> less drugs next time. Yes. I it it's it it's weird that this is as close to heartwarming as we come on this show. No, we had that guy who broke in to make Christmas. Okay, yes, yes, that that, that was pretty sweet and crazy. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, let's see. Uh, well, here's the other side of that story. This is the the say the variation on the theme. Um, I want to know. Driver crashes into apartment, then strips to boxers. A man rammed a pickup three times, knocked into a cottonwood apartment before driving to another side of the apartment building and crashing into a utility box on the wall of his girlfriend's apartment this morning. Martin Rackle, 28, then stripped to his boxers and began screaming, running around the apartment complex, and jumping on cars. Uh, Sergeant Greg Siegler said it would appear he was high on methamphetamines. It all began at 6 in the morning, for which he should be shot. Don't do that shit at 6 in the morning. Um... Rackle had a, a little issue. I love what the, the cops said. Had a little issue at a bar in Cottonwood. He tore up the place f and flipped over a pool table. From there, he drove his Lincoln pool Cottonwood. Pool tables are kind of heavy. I know. That was like, oh, like smash. A car table. Those things are heavy. But that's some epic table flipping going on right there. Rawr! All of the tables. Um... He then drove a blue Link Continental to his girlfriend's apartment. Uh, she lived there with the pair's two children, one 22 oh. months and one two months old. 
So now this woman has to explain why Daddy's the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Bobby, why is Daddy naked on the cars? Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm not sure I see the connection between the two stories. I mean, well, obviously our brains work differently since I don't have random fears about spiders biting my nooks and crannies, so you're gonna have to help me out here. One was smashed one was fucked up on drugs and smashing walls for love. The other was fucked up on drugs and smashing walls for dickery. Oh. Kind of a two sides of the same dickish coin. Um, he backed up and rammed his car into the apartment where his girlfriend was living. He kicked in the front door of the apartment. Um, the girlfriend and two children slipped by Rackle and his girlfriend called 911. That's a really poorly written sentence. I know. It's, it's, he kicked in the front door of the apartment, comma, the victim, comma, two children and landlord ran upstairs. It makes it sound... Like, he kicked in the front door, kicked the girl, kicked the children, kicked the landlord. Bad sentence structure. I just, okay. Remember when people used to do drugs for fun? Isn't that the point of recreational drug use? It's kind of in the title. Recreational. This seems like a lot of work to me. Maybe that's his cardio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get up in the morning, I smoke a bunch of meth, I flip over some tables. It's yeah, good workout. Like we, obviously it's working. He's flipping over pool tables. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously this workout plan, it's doing all right by him. Because the fucker is flipping over pool tables. I can't so, really argue with that. You got a point. selling DVDs, you know? Jumping up on the fucking... Jumping up on... Up, and up on the car, and off of the car, and up on the car, and off of the car. You're gonna do ten reps. Up the car, off the car, up the car, off the car. That's, that just, okay. I promise you. Oh, he also got, he got stun gunned and shot with beanbags. <laughs> God damn. He got fucking magic missile, dude. <laughs> they had to magic missile this motherfucker. What was he on? <laughs> Oh, who, man, if if that were you, dude, you should beat up the guy who sold you that meth. Because holy fuck. Generally, you should just not do meth. Yeah, okay, yeah, but. We have customers that come to my store with the worst meth face, and we're like, no amount of makeup is going to help. You know what's going to help? Not doing meth is going to help. Can, can you, you give me something to highlight the lack of teeth? Yeah, yeah, no. Not, not really. There's, there's Just nothing. Do heroin. That's what the models do, and they're fucking gorgeous. Until don't do drugs that make you ugly. Until they die. Yeah. And then complain that you're ugly. Um, this one is. <sighs> that was such a terrible PSA. I'm that sorry. That was. That, <laughs> don't do drugs that make you ugly. Just do the ones that make you pretty. And dead. You gotta do drugs. Do drugs that make you hot, at least. You know. <laughs> Again, it's Florida. Oh, Good Christ, we have so many Florida... It just... How does this happen? Fernando Villa, half-dressed drunken cop, blamed his DUI on old baseball injury. What? 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 Um, according to his arrest report, Villa blamed his sluggish responses on con concussion he suffered at least 13 years ago while playing high school baseball, hence why he failed his roadside DUI test. He was also half-naked when discovered asleep in the middle of an intersection. Here's the arrest report. Um, wow. When I was on routine patrol, I observed a marked police vehicle stopped southbound in the uh, left turn lane i stopped to check on the well-being of the officer and found the suspect shirtless in a pair of cargo shorts the suspect Wait, was, he was in an actual police car he was a cop right but like he oh, no. wasn't in his own car no he the cop the car was nearby he was in the intersection face down oh no he was in the car his he was, in the was car? on the brake and the okay. vehicle was All right. okay so he was in a fucking cop car oh that's even better not I'm in uniform. What? 
foot was on the brake and the vehicle was in drive. Okay, um... Wow! Here's how a concussion works. You get hit in the head really hard. Your brain bounces off the other side of your skull. Everything in your head goes, what the fuck? And for a few days afterwards, you're not happy. Well, you have a, it's bruising on the brain. Your literally. brain is bruised, yeah. Yeah. And for and I've, I've had a concussion, it's not fun. No. Your fingertips get tingly, that's weird. But unless you're repeatedly banging your head into things. For 13 years. For 13 years. That shit normally about a few weeks you're it fine. Resolves. Right. Yeah. You heal. You don't concussions don't last 13 years. No. No. It's not for it's not forever. <laughs> no. Although that would explain so many people. But that's not how concussions work. Mm -mm. That's not science. Mm -mm. You, you, this was a cop. That's that's what's blowing my mind on this one. This is a cop. Yeah. I I just I did. No one notice this guy drinking on the job before now. Nobody. Well, he wasn't on the job because he wasn't in his fucking uniform. <laughs> but he so was in the car. Like, what the fuck was he doing in the squad car to begin with? God, I hope he wasn't trying to, to, to chase tick speeders. I have so many questions. Do you know how fast you're going? Do you know where your pants are? I guess we both don't know. No, he had pants, just not a top. He was in cargo shorts, but no shirt. <laughs> so, I guess that's good. <laughs> But, like, you don't get to take those cars home, I don't think. Like, no. you have to leave them at the police yes. station, so... So, presumably, he checked this car out of the station. <laughs> not in uniform and possibly drunk. Are you sleeping any... <laughs> Are you sleeping any safer, people? Maybe people are going to think twice before they call the cops now. It's like, okay, someone's stealing my shit, but do I really want to involve the cops? Is that going to improve this situation? We got one more. This oh, okay, they're telling me sometimes you bring the car home. We, we, we've got one more this week, and I... I'm baffled. This is probably the worst way ever to be festive. Ever. Worse than breaking into someone's house and, like, putting up Christmas shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because this one involves firearms. From Decatur, Georgia. Man arrested for shooting mistletoe at North DeKalb Mall. Like, shooting mistletoe at the mall or shooting, shooting the at the mistletoe? Clearly, he has never been kissed. Decatur, Georgia, um... This man needs a make-out session stat. Who volunteers? In the wild, mistletoe is a parasitic plant created a, that creates a leafy ball on top of trees. For centuries, the challenge has been how to get the middle mistletoe out of the tree most efficiently. <sighs> I've gathered it before, says 11 Alive photographer Richard Crabb, a man with roots in rural Georgia. Quote, the traditional southern way with a gun. Tradition has it, you would shoot it out of the tree with a gun. As I understand it, that's pretty much the traditional southern way to do everything. Yeah. Um, with a sweet tea and a gun. This is, the, this is the logic Richard Robinson apparently applied Sunday when he was spotted with a shotgun near the North DeKalb Mall. Robinson was firing into the trees in an attempt to get the mistletoe out to decorate his home for Christmas. Police arrested Robinson in charge of illegally discharging a weapon and reckless conduct. Police report says he does this every year, but never in the mall parking lot. The suspect was, this is a quote, the suspect was surprised he was getting arrested. 
Yeah. I, I think the last line of the article pretty much says it for me. The mall? Not the best place to go shoot mistletoe out of the tree. No! The mall? Not the best place to shoot anything. No! All. Don't shoot things in places where there are people. <laughs> and Catherine goes, and buckshot in a pear tree. Oh, you really, Catherine? Really? Yeah, to throw that one in. What yeah. the fuck? Why do you shoot mistletoe out of a tree? Like... Well, you I, you probably get buckshot, and you shoot at the mistletoe, and then you go and pick up what hasn't been shredded. Why? Why not just climb it and cut it down? Well, because that would be, you know, sensible. I don't understand the South at all. It's much easier to just point a gun. You just point and click. And pray you don't hit anything that has a pulse. Yeah. But then you have kind of fucked up mistletoe. I think the mistletoe is the least of the concerns here. And like, you, 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 you bring your intended under the mistletoe for a kiss and they get a fucking shell casing falling off. <laughs> That's not romance. Maybe in the South it is, I don't know. But We've got that. Where, where I come from on Strong Island, that's not romance. Isn't it amazing how many Southern, at least said earlier, how many Southern traditions revolve around guns? Yeah. Freaks me out a little, because I'm not a gun person. Like, I'm not either. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't really like guns. They kind of freak me out. And so, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a pussy liberal New Englander. So, uh, yeah, like, I don't, you, you know, it's like fucking guns and grits, man. The, the thing is, th there's an old saying. When all you have is a hammer and everything looks like a nail. Yeah. Guns have a very specific purpose. They put a hole in something to make it not alive anymore. That's what it's designed to do. Yeah. That's pretty much all it's designed to do. You would It's not designed to fix your lawnmower. No. It's not designed to open cans of beer. It's not designed to harvest mistletoe. It's not designed for taking a fucking picture with Santa because there's some mall doing that. Some some I know the AK forty yeah, what is it? Where's yeah. Get your picture with Santa and a fucking semi automatic. No. It's <sighs> you wouldn't shave with a blender. Okay? You, you know? You wouldn't make make whipped cream with a vacuum cleaner. Why the fuck are you trying to harvest mistletoe with a gun? Things have purposes. Form follows function. Not... <laughs> it's not a yeah, remote I feel control. Like there are a lot of people in the South who just... And I'm going to offend so many people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the I'm South. I'm from the South. Have at. I but live here. I feel here. like there are a lot of people down there who feel like... The gun is their version of the Swiss Army knife. It's, it's, not. and it's fucking not. <laughs> There's no corkscrew on that shit. There's only one place where point and click applies in the whole world, and that's not a computer. Not. It's not necessarily true. Well, that's an entirely different subject, and you don't same. use you don't use a gun for that either. No, no, you don't. No. Mm -mm. <sighs> All right. So, so obviously, the first thing we've learned tonight is um, don't use guns for anything except killing things. Wow, that's dark. Please try not to kill very many things. Yeah, just don't. I. Wow, that, that's weird. Okay, um, we learned that, uh, blowtorches, also, um, they make fire! Fire yeah. make house go away! Use things according to the directions. They Read do, the manual, they, use the tool accordingly. They don't, they don't print the manuals just to make the box a little thicker. It's there for a reason! <sighs> Um, when crashing a wall, I think we discovered it's actually... Whether for love or for rage, 
I'm actually, I actually kind of feel sorry for the guy who did it for his girlfriend. You know, I, I feel a little sympathy there because I can't be mad at him. His intentions were good. Because you look at it, you go, you're kind of like, oh, but you're also like, oh. So you yeah, know, like, well, maybe just do less drugs. But good on you. Good, good looking out for the girlfriend. Don't. When Andre, if you're going, yeah, don't smash the walls with the intent of making shit worse for the girlfriend. And don't be smashing walls at six in the morning. What? That's just rude. That's Some of us have just gone to bed at six in the morning, and you're really fucking up our program. That's just rude. Do your drugs at, drugs at an appropriate time of day. Yes. Mother. Have your drug induced rage when other people aren't trying to sleep. God damn it. Thank you. Be be a polite psychotic at least. Yes. Have some fucking courtesy. Um we learned that uh cops are um <sighs> disappointing in a way. And um if 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 your cop doesn't know where his clothes are, um call another cop. That's 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 your best option. Get another one. Uh we learned that um, if you ask them to taser you, they will. They will. They ask, and ye shall receive ten thousand volts. They're like, okay. They won't like it. You'll probably involuntarily void your bowels. It'll be really embarrassing. <laughs> That's a weird place to take it. If you get electrocuted, what's going to happen? 10,000 fucking volts. <laughs> your colon just takes a nap, is what you're saying? Your muscles all fucking seize up. I actually have been electrocuted on a much smaller scale. No, I did not. I was six. <laughs> <laughs> and I burned all my fingerprints off temporarily. Because <laughs> I was fucking around with a lamp up in my uh, parents' attic. I forget why. I was just messing with this lamp, and it fucking shorted out. And I was, like, holding on to the bowl on the lamp. And so I got electrocuted because the current went right through me. And I, my, I remember, like, when they took me to the ER, my fingers were all black. And I had no fingerprints for, like, a couple weeks till they grew back. I could have gotten away with anything. We, I should have taken advantage of that and gone on a crime spree. We learn so much about you based on your childhood. Yeah, my, my, my poor mom. She literally used to rotate emergency rooms because she was afraid people would think she was beating us and... And take the, us away because we just did stupid shit. <laughs> you were drinking. And I, like they were like, "Oh, aren't you so glad that you had girls? Aren't they so much easier?" And she's like, "Really? Take them home, fucking monsters." And we were, we were like demonic children. You were yeah. drinking when you were a kid. You were electrocuting yourself when you were a kid. Ripped my bottom lip off. Felt falling down a flight of stairs. Swallowed my two front baby teeth. Oh, it was, it was good times. Could there be so, any, you know that's what? Why I got this scar right here. This I had to have plastic surgery at the age of three. Ending up doing this show kind of seems appropriate. I've got the experience 